Good morning, everybody. Um, time for another daily pattern. Go to pattern-collections.com. Scroll down until you get to pattern focus, which is where you will find today's pattern. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a bit early this morning. Haven't uh, cleared out all the crud out in my lungs yet. Okay, um, scroll down until you get to today's pattern, which will be this one. Okay, and this one is called Echo S by Joe Flaherty. You will, it, it, that's another one of these ones that I really, really like. I can tell already. I haven't done it yet, but I can tell already I, I'm going to like this one. Okay, so we're going to do sort of a scroll on the come around and then do it around this other way. That's step one. Step two, you're going to start here and you're going to start filling in kind of like petals up until you run out of room up against that. And then I'm going to assume, and I'm correct, that you're going to then turn your tile and do the same thing. Fill in petals going the other way. And there you go. That's, that's the pattern right there swirls, scrolls, and petals. And then you can add to them. You can add a little wheel. You can add a little like zinger cap type of thing. Um, embellish as you would. Here's where more petals are around the outside. And then there's one here that's mixed with a little, I think that's verve, that one. And another one there where it's one big one with some embellishments and a couple little ones. Just, you know, have fun with it and play with it. Um, we are still, I'm still using string number 32 as my base. And we'll see what happens here with that. Um... Just put a little border. I don't think I'm going to use the border, but I'm going to stick it in anyway. And I'm going to build my string. Okay. I think what I want to do. I'm just going to do here. I'm going to go along this with two, maybe three of those little guys. So I'm going to just start here. I'm going to go around a couple of times and over and around a few times like that. You are far away. Sorry about that. Mm. What did I do with my water? Oh, I didn't bring my water back with me when I changed stuff. Oh well. I like this side better than I like this side. I didn't do such a good job with the curls, but it doesn't matter because um, you know it'll just get incorporated into your tangle. I'm going to turn my tile so I'm drawing easier for me, and I'm going to just do these little kind of petally shapes. Coming down into here. Until that's filled up. I'm touching, touching there. And then I'm going to turn. And I'm going to do it the other way. go. That's the base tangle, right? Right there. Easy peasy, right? So now I want to do another swirl, but I'm going to kind of like stick it behind there, I think. 
Or maybe I'll do one here first. <clears throat> Changed my mind. I'm going to do one here first. So I'm going to do one right in here. And around like that. And then... Oh. That's interesting. I did the swirl backwards, quote unquote. So my petals have to go this way because that's the way my swirl is. I'll have to go on this side instead and fill up going on the other side. Like that. And this one's going to go this way. So it appears that depending on how you draw your first swirl, you are either going to be doing this shape clockwise or counterclockwise. I didn't realize I'd drawn that shape the other way. Interesting. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of put one here, really big, kind of follow that. So I'm going to start here. Oh, there goes the trash truck. It's early today. I'm going to go behind there, and I'm going to go behind there, and I'm going to go way up like this. And then this one's going to have one that starts there and comes around out of there into here. And you don't see that and it's going to come around and out into here. And then somewhere around here there's going to be one that comes out and into there. And then you'll be able to start seeing them as they come out and around. This one's a nice big one. I always like these ones with these sort of pedally shapes. They are super fun to draw and they are easy. They just kind of fill themselves in. I, I love it. And then this one's going to come out around to there. that. That's a big one. I like it. And I'm looking, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can look at my tile on my screen because that helps me get perspective. If you aren't sure where you want to go next with your tile, um, sometimes it's a really good thing to hold it out at arm's length or to, um, you know, set it on the table and step back. Um, that will give you the perspective you need to say, you know, what, what else does this tile need? I'm going to get rid of the border because I don't think I need, whoops, I let go. I don't really need that border. Okay, but that gives you a perspective to stand back and say, okay, how balanced is this tile? What do I want to do? It's sort of bottom heavy here. It needs something in this space, but I'm not sure I want more of this. I may want to just do something else in this space, but I'm not sure what yet. So I'm just going to sit with it for just a moment and let it kind of speak to me. Um, 
it wants some tipple to ground it a little here and more here. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do the ones with various sizes. Sometimes I do it just one size, but I think this one wants one with various sizes. And it also wants it to get looser further away and start getting kind of like where it lets go. I do like when I do that. It's like there are bubbles that are like compacted right underneath your um, your main design. And then as as it flows out away from your object, whatever it might be, it like loosens up and lets lets loose individual bubbles out. I'm gonna fill in that with black where they're close to one another like that. I really like when when Tipple does that. It's one of my favorite things. So I'm gonna put tuck a few in here. That same way. A couple small ones, maybe a bigger one. And one here. And one there it says. Like that. Boy, these early morning ones, when I haven't been speaking yet, I do, I do feel that my voice is a little raspy. First thing in the morning. Um, I haven't been, as a matter of fact, until I opened my mouth to start speaking at the beginning of this video, I hadn't said a word. Yet all morning, because I'm here all by myself. There's no point talking to myself. Of course, now when I have the video on, I'm talking to myself. But I'm talking to you guys too. Just happened to be that you guys aren't here in my, in my house. Okay, something like that. And then up here, it's going to spill more. We're talking about our go-to patterns and what what you use all the time to kind of embrace uh, what's going on in your tiles, like you know what you use to fill up, what you use when you're not sure what other pattern to do. Tipple is one of my absolute favorites. And doing it this way is is also one of the things that I really enjoy doing. Put three together like that. If I'm going to have them touching, I have at least three. They look funny if there's only two. There can be more than three. There can be a group of four or five or whatever but they need to be at least three or just the one like that and then that's just kind of flowing out from behind there sitting in a sea of bubbles I really 
I find this one to be just something I just tend to gravitate toward. You know, when all else fails, put a circle there. As as humans, we tend to to gravitate to a round shape. It's it's something that's super pleasing to us for whatever reason. I don't know if it's because you know faces are round, the things that we uh, hold dear are round, or just because you know. Round is, in nature, more than straight, you know. You do find straight in nature. You, lots of crystals and that sort of thing have straight, but most, most things have round. And certainly water and water drops and bubbles are round. And I think we're just drawn to that naturally. And that looks good. This is really close to the edge here, but I feel like I need just a teeny bit right there to make a dark spot right here to balance out these dark spots over here. So I'm going to just do just a couple, not a lot, just so I have a spot where I can fill in. Just a few, so I can make a dark anchor spot right there in that corner. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so what was this called? I'm already done. That's good. Echo S. Um, how is it gonna live? Do I want it to live like that? That's kind of cool. that. I think it's going to live like that. Okay. String number 32. Okay. Echo S on string number 32. Let's give that a little bit of shading. <clears throat> I wish I had brought my water. Okay, I'm just gonna shade where these all kind of merge down here. Like that. And like this. And maybe a little right around the spiral and then on this big one I think I'm gonna do some here instead of at the middle although I may do the middle as well <clears throat> Goodness sakes, I've got that frog in my voice this morning, that's for sure. I need to go get a uh, drink of water before I do a second video. I'm not even sure I'm going to do a second video today, but if I do, I need a drink of water. I think I'm going to fill in right here behind that one. feel like that's better. A little bit right there, a little bit right there, and then some on these where it overlaps. Yeah. 
All right. Stump. I'm going to get out my little one this time. The reason for having different size stumps, can you see the difference in the size? Let me set it down here. See, one is much fatter than the other. Um, it just depends on how much you want this pencil to spread. Um, this time I don't want it to spread much. So I'm using the little one. Gives me a smaller you know, just a, th a thinner line there. Now I may want to use my bigger one here because I want a nice big fat and it's easier to just do it with the big one. And as a matter of fact, I may end up coming back and yeah, I'm going to make that darker right there. Right at the edge here. I want it darker. I'm going to come back with my pencil. And just make it a little darker right, right at the edge where those overlap. I want that nice and really dark. And then just come back with my stump and blend that in again. Don't be afraid to use that pencil because you know what's what, what's the worst thing that can happen the worst thing that can happen is you do something you don't like like I've got a little bit right there that I don't want and you come back with your eraser and you get rid of it because it's just pencil much less scary than the pen you know just Fix it with your pencil. I mean, fix it with your eraser. You can do that. You don't have to be confined. And that's the best part of, of the shading is that you can experiment with your shading. And if you don't like it, just erase it and start again. You know, it's your art. You can do what you want with it. <clears throat> and somebody asked me what what do I do with all those tiles you know you guys have seen um, on some of my videos my big old stack of tiles and to be honest with you it just sits here as a big old stack of tiles because for me once I'm done with the drawing unless I'm making you know, a card for a friend or something. Um, once I'm done with the drawing, I'm done with it. It's it's finished. The, the point of the drawing for me is just the drawing. I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, shading on some of these bubbles. And I'm not even going to add any extra pencil. I'm just taking whatever is left over on my stump and just using that. That way I don't have any pencil mark showing. It's, um, you know, done with the the hard graphite line. Anyway, what I was saying is once once the tile is done, it's done. It's I'm finished with it and I don't have any burning desire to do something with it. Um, but every so often I will, you know, make a something for someone in particular and and gift it. And sometimes that happens. Most of the time, my tiles just sit here. The, the pile is growing again since the last giveaway. Look at that. Oops, wrong way. There's my pile. That is a lot of them. I do have these coasters that are really cool. Maybe next time I'll, I'll get one out and show you. Um, God, I got them a long time ago, so I don't even know where I got them. But they were like picture frame coasters. And um, tiles fit perfect in there. So I can rotate out my art through there. Um, I'll do that on tomorrow's video. 
Um, I'll run and grab one of those, get myself some water, and uh, draw tomorrow's video here in a minute. And so, um, yeah, I'll go grab one of those so I, you guys can see. Okay, well, that's it. I'm done for the day, for today. This was easy. This was fun. I had just a great time. Um, it was a good thing to start with for the day. I don't like this spot right here. You see where I've got this spot? Right there, where I wasn't mindful of where I stopped my pen line. I don't like that. So I'm going to come in. I'm just going to... Try to be mindful and not make it worse. Just do that, right like that. Now I've I've fixed that spot. It was bugging me. Okay, so I'm gonna go get myself something to drink. Try to get the frog out of my throat and find my picture frame things so I can show you those. And I will be back on tomorrow's video. You guys have a great day. Go out and do something nice for someone else so that we can make the world a better place. That would be just awesome. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.